Hello guys, this is Elite Bytes with a new video about our software VeloRAM. And in this video I want to show you the power of VeloRAM on a SATA SSD. You will see live how it delivers fantastic performance that elevates the SSD to a higher class. But first we need to test the SSD without any acceleration. To find out about the SSD's performance we will bench it first. The second benchmark will be accelerated with VeloRAM. So let's start right away with the SSD only. The results are in IOs per second, also known as IOPS, and megabytes per second, also known as MBPS. I will show you both results clearly at the end of each benchmark. The runs itself take about 5 minutes each and are time lapsed to avoid consuming your time. At the end of this video is a compressed performance comparison. I want to mention these benchmarks to run on the same PC hardware at last time and future videos we want to make will also run on the same exact hardware or exact same hardware. So here it shows the IOPS of the SATA SSD coming down from peak values around 60k IOPS to as low as 8 IOPS. VeloRAM is available as a free trial with unlimited functionality and in four editions starting with the personal editions at 9.99. So here is the end of the SATA SSD benchmark and we can see the MBPS is almost constant speed which was to be expected. The IOPS show a geometric curve which is also completely good normal. We will install VeloRAM now and continue with the second benchmark showing VeloRAM in action. But before I want to make clear that VeloRAM is not exactly a RAM disk. It is actually a RAM cache and it eliminates the two major disadvantages of any RAM disk like a RAM disk loses all content on shutdown, power off or hardware reset. Any data valuable or not will be in Nirvana. Imagine working on a project for hours and your PC goes into a reboot. All work is lost. That's a catastrophe that was quite normal in the early days of computing in the last century. But not in near 2020. As I said before, VeloRAM is not a RAM disk, so it will hold all the data. The second major misfit of any RAM disk is that it needs to be installed with the software or data you want to work with each time you start over. That costs valuable time. Also copying back data from the RAM disk must be done manually and costs time each usage. And again this does not hold true with VeloRAM. Now the second benchmark shows almost constant power. So this is the end of the VeloRAM SATA SSD benchmark. Following is the evaluation of the results. We used a good middle class SATA SSD for this video. It delivers around 500 megabytes the second and 50,000 IOPS. Surprise was with VeloRAM this configuration ran around 10 gigabyte the second and had around 150,000 IOPS. So. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video showing how powerful VeloRAM accelerates a middle to yes upper class SATA SSD into a velocity up to and beyond NVMe and obtain SSDs. As you guys saw. Big thanks supporting the channel. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you are new around here. Thanks for watching.